right, this is the growth cycle for the year 2022. Uh, we're gonna grow a lot of beans this year because that were the seeds available. There's some beans in there. There's some wildflowers and some herbs, oregano and thyme in there as well. So everything is makeshift right now with the resources I could find. A lot of the beans started like this. Some of them sprouted, some didn't. And that process is somewhat successful. Some plants are doing really well and some are beginning to sprout. I just put the new ones here. So these fellows are new and they come from, I was trying to do some aeroponics using the sticks, but that didn't work. Then I found some uh, cheesecloth. I had cheesecloth. And what I did was I put the cheesecloth on a uh, piece of, uh, like basically a box of plastic. I'm not a big fan of plastic, but this one's really not coming in contact with the plastic. And I've been spraying it with a spray bottle. And this technique seems to be working. Um, I don't know how much better this is than to actually soak the seeds in, um, in, the, in the cloth. But they started germinating in uh, maybe three days maximum. Uh, something like that. That's something I just did today. And um, yeah, so, you know, do what you can with the resources that you've got. And I had, I eat a lot of beans, so I figured if I put one of these, then I have no idea how much yield one plant's gonna give me. I guess technically I could move, nobody's outside, so I could record. Technically I could move them outside right now, but there was actually snow just two days ago. And I'm not sure if the frost is gonna kill these plants. I think this guy will survive. It's quite phenomenal how much this plant has grown in just, I think it must be like four days now. But the growth is, un, like this, for some reason, this one's growing really fast. And um, yeah, the other ones I just planted today, like these two I was saying. But, but the, the other ones, like this is around, this was planted around the same time. So I think, you know, there's some others in there. So all the ones that are kind of like doing a U-turn, um, they, they are um, the ones that I kind of planted around the same time. You can start to see some of the wildflowers begin to uh, kind of uh, uh, bloom as well, or sorry, uh, sprout. And yeah, this is my update. Um, there's gonna be a lot of beans and we're gonna, I don't know if I can, I'm starting to uh, prepare the soil and everything. I'm not gonna till it this year. So, so we already have garlic there from last year. I don't know if you can see it. And uh, anyway, I think I'm gonna transfer them to the pot and then overall queue the. This is my short update. Thank you very much and let me know what you're growing this year. Have a good one. Beautiful day outside. I spent a lot of time in the woods today. I saw mushrooms and wildflowers. I ate some flowers. They looked edible. <laughs> I'm alive. Nothing's uh, uh, happening to me, so it's a good sign. And I saw fungi, which is mushrooms, different kinds. And I'm really curious, where do the bugs in the pond come from? It's a good question. Because I was looking at the pond just three weeks back and there was, from, a, uh, from my eyes, there didn't seem to be any life in there. So I don't know if these things have antifreeze or what happens, but there's life in the pond now. And I was thinking, are they frozen or do they come on the backs of birds? Or like, that's my question. How do the ponds all of a sudden have life and then there's no life? That's a good question. Um, I think I was looking at water bears or tardigrades, and tardigrades in particular have uh, a, a, a biologically occurring antifreeze in their body. I think it's called cryptocellul. Actually, I don't remember. It's some kind of it's some kind of sugar that that helps. If I remember correctly, it's like sugars sugars that that are kind of like antifreeze. And I feel there could be a big industry here for natural antifreeze. 
but also uh, for a whole bunch of other purposes like cryonics and anyways I'm not gonna talk about that but this is just an interesting question how come there is no activity in the pond and all of a sudden there's activity oh by the way I picked up eight pounds to eight to twelve pounds of trash I think it's more that took me about 40 minutes but instead of sitting there and complaining about trash in the pond in the creeks in the woods I just picked it up and so I feel pretty good and I planted some seeds and I've spoke to my new friend from uh, West Africa Adibayo Adibayo if you're watching this we're gonna do great things together all right live long and prosper and I have some duct tape on my window <laughs> and uh, to adventure and fellowship Woohoo!